to my channel hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads okay today as you guys already seen from the title i am going to be reviewing some new new by the main choice it ain't that new but it's newest newish you know what I mean? it's the exotic kool-aid collection also known as the healthy hair food collection so you guys get into it right here we are going to start off with step one of any wash day which is the shampoo and in my hands i have the minty guava and kiwi shampoo and it looks like this and it's kind of runny on the top and like it's trying to separate at the bottom. Just want to give it a little shake, shake, shake. And then you want to squeeze it right into your scalp where you need it at. But don't forget your hair legs. Only one Jess tells us do not forget your hair legs, meaning the rest of your hair, your ends, the shaft. It's not always all about the roots. Okay. So here in this little clip, you can see me washing my hair. This stuff sets up so easy um, and it pretty much does exactly what it claims. It is non-stripping, it nourishes and refreshes the scalp. It leaves the hair and scalp feeling, or it leaves the hair feeling soft and tangle free. It delivers long lasting moisture and shine and it is gentle enough for daily use. Now, I have not used this daily but I do wash my hair quite frequently and when I don't, I experience a lot of matting and knots and tangles and broken hair. Um, this, real quick story time y'all, this past weekend or this past week, I haven't really been feeling well. I've had extreme migraines and I haven't been getting enough sleep um, and so, <clears throat> I haven't really been doing my hair or paying my hair any attention and after washing my like this wash day was right on time because my hair was really dry it was really tangled and this shampoo as you guys saw in the clip left my hair super duper detangled it left my hair defined and that came from a shampoo and I've actually only experienced that with the main choices shampoo so um 10 out of 10, y'all. 10 out of 10. Moving right along into the deep conditioning, um, this collection features five products and it skips the conditioning step. So we go straight into the deep conditioning and that is going to be with the Fresh Mango and Passion Fruit Mask. And baby, when I say she is thick, she is thick, okay? Thicker than a speckle like nothing like i dropped this yesterday it spun in the air nothing came out <laughs> she is like on it all right here's another little shot of me kind of playing with it um when i was applying this to my hair I used about a quarter of this because it just feels like it absorbs into your hair so fast that you feel like you don't have any so you you gotta put more um the only downside about this is that i wish it was in a bigger container because you're because it's so thick it doesn't really have a lot of slip so it's gonna make you want to put more and more and more and this is only eight ounces so now this does state you would want to leave this in your hair for 15 to 20 minutes with heat and up to an hour without heat and the claims on this are really hard to read gentle enough for daily use um, provides elasticity and overall versatility helps to penetrate a natural or i'm sorry helps to promote a natural healthy shine um neutral rich formula dramatically softens and conditions hair passion fruit intensely repairs and restores um, compromised hair and mango helps to reinforce um, integrity of hair from the roots to ends so 
it's not that I can't read. Like I said, the claims are like in silver print on this purple label. So it's really hard to read, like I said. So, and the second you take the lid off, you smell the mango in this. So nine out of 10, only because I needed this to be a 12 ounce, okay? Courtney, can you make this in a 12 ounce, please? Please? Alrighty, and so, now we are on to the leave-in. Remember before I mentioned that there is no rinse out conditioner for this line? I lied, there is. <laughs> it is this. Um, if you guys know about the Tropica Moringa collection, that leave-in or that conditioner is a rinse out and leave-in conditioner. The main choice also has a three-in-one from their original line. This is a five-in-one okay five it is a rinse out a co-wash a leave-in a detangler and a pre-poo this is five in one okay and this is the sweet papaya and pineapple infinite conditioner the claims on nails it says it nurses and strengthens hair it infuses strands with um, essential moisture leaves hair feeling soft and tangle free um, adds long-lasting moisture and is gentle enough for daily use <sighs> we gonna have to spend some time talking about this y'all I didn't even have any real clips to show you of me applying this to my hair uh, because while I was applying this I was detangling my hair and it was a mess like I broke my shampoo brush trying to detangle my hair. Like this left my hair, in the moment of applying it, it feels moisturizing, but it is very lightweight and runny, as I showed you guys in the clip here. And I don't know, maybe because this is a rinse out conditioner, you should probably apply it in the shower. You probably have better results with applying it in the shower. That way you don't put too much, um, but this left flakes in my hair and it left my hair feeling extremely dry. I don't need it. I don't need it. Okay. Dry Sub Sahara. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Dry, baby. I don't need it. Okay. Burger King nuggets dry. KFC chicken dry, honey. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> dry. It left my hair dry. So dry to the point that I thought in the back here that this was frizz. This is not frizz. This is because my hair is dry. Okay. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. I almost didn't even post this video. Like, I went back and forth. I even asked my husband, like, babe, do you think I should delete all the stuff and just maybe do it over? You know what I'm saying? Just not. And he was like, babe, it's really not even all that bad. Like, your hair doesn't look that bad at all. <sighs> For this, I would give this probably like a three or a four out of 10. I'm gonna try this one more time, applying it in the shower before I return it, cause I don't know about this. I don't know, Courtney. I don't know. On to the last product that I have, the styler. Actually, I don't know, I'm a little torn with this last one, y'all. This is the um, Luscious Lychee and Dragon Fruit Definition of Definition Gel Low. And it does say that. Jello. <laughs> so, uh, and she is a jello, y'all. Watch her jiggle out. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like doing it. But, um, of course, I applied this first and then this. I think I'm going to try this by itself as a wash and go. Um, 
like I said, my hair was very, very, very dry. Um, I'll show you guys the takedown and the end result. Again, this close to not using this footage. In order for me to get this, and this is day one hair. Um, in order for me to get this puff, I had to, because I was going to go in the shower and wash it out, y'all. I had to use oil. I had to go break out the Tropical Moringa sealing cream because I needed some more moisture in my hair. And I broke out the wet lining string, y'all, because I had to get these edges together. And... The main choice I love the thought behind this but um I don't know maybe not for high porosity fine strand coils maybe for a higher density low porosity girl that has um, coarser strands than myself but Again, maybe if I try this in the shower and try this with a gel on top of it, maybe if I try it as a wash and go in the shower, that might end up being another video. I, for this twist out, I do have definition as you see. Ooh. Yeah, I got definition right here. I got I actually surprisingly got a lot of definition in the front, which y'all know is my problem area and not so much in the back. So I definitely will have to give this another try. And maybe if I do a twist out, I'll do it with just a gel low. <laughs> um, or if I do a wash and go, just do it in the shower or just with a jello. And probably I'll probably try a wash and go combo. What y'all think? Comment down below. But that's that for this video, y'all. Like I said, I'm tired. I ain't really been getting no sleep. So I'm sorry if my energy isn't where it normally is. Um, don't judge me. And don't unsubscribe to my channel because of it. The next one will have energy, I promise. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.